Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Sparta campaign in Rome Total Realism Imperium Surrectum. Last time, we smashed Athens, absolutely crushed them. So now they are dead. And we have Athens, which is a large city, which is awesome. I'm so glad we now have Athens. But there's a lot more richer cities around here as well. So we need to start building up our power base now, which is pretty decent, as you can see already. Um, so we have a couple of things to do because the Boeotians attacked into our lands. This army actually has rams, which is a bit of a uh, scary prospect. This one does not have anything. So I'm hoping we can get to Captain Urius. Otherwise, we might lose Aegeon, and I don't want to siege it down with this garrison um, but as you can see we need to get on a boat to get back across and I don't know if we got here I think we need to go for Captain Urius to start with that will probably be the best idea rather than go for these guys because these guys don't have siege equipment so even if we can just get to Captain Urius that would be perfect um, and then let us see whether we can get an alliance with the Ptolemaic Egyptians as well. We've got to try and find their land. Where's the road going? Keep coming. Here we are. Oh, hello. Kingdom of Kyrene. Let's get some trade rights. You again? No? Really? They don't like us. Oh, well. We'll go for uh, Egypt then <laughs> rather than them guys. But yes, let us get our boys on the boats. Get into the dock, my friend. And we need to leave someone behind. So we should probably merge you guys. Uh, should we merge you or merge someone else? Maybe these, actually. So we can leave the 40 Cretan archers behind. Get on the boat. And then I would like to drop you off here. Ah, we, we just... Can't get there. So they probably are going to attack this turn and take a jump. If that's the case, we'll have to come back and try and attack Captain Sosthenes next turn. Ah, oh, it's tough. It's tough. Back and forth with the Boeotians at the minute, isn't it? But we need to beat them back first and then we can retrain and then go after their settlements. Corinth and Orchomenos again. So let's end the turn, guys, and see what happens. Yeah, we've got our merchant moving. Go on, big boy. Let's keep it going. Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this series. It's so fun. I know I say that every episode, but it's true. It's true. Um, it's really, really good fun. It, it's a good challenge as well. Compared to vanilla, vanilla Rome is incredibly easy, isn't it? Oh, we're going to die here. No, we've lost our ships again. We better train some ships straight away again because... It's really important that we get... Oh, he ran. He left. And they left Athens. What's going on? Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Looks like they might have presented us with an opportunity here. So what I'm going to do to make sure that they don't retreat into Corinth, we're going to send one of our cavalry units there. You maintain the siege. You attack. And he will come in and fight. Fantastic. That is good for us. So if we do this, we will go for Corinth next straight away. Because he's no longer sieging down Athens. And as you can see, we're making an absolute ton of money now with Athens and Chalcis in our grasp. So guys, I will see you on the battle map once again. Ready to go. Here we are. Yes! Let us go, boys. Let us go. This is a horrendous map. Good lord. Look at this map. It is awful. We're probably not going to be able to see their troops for quite a considerable time. So we will try and take the high ground over here. Right next to the edge of the map. Uh, of course, we need our javelin men. They don't have anything too scary. They don't even have a general, so their morale should be pretty poor. Keep you guys on the right flank. And that is everything, isn't it? So, 
Let us get these guys. Yeah, they're hugging the side as well. Can't see them. That is the problem. And this rain really doesn't help. Oh, maybe don't need to go all that way. <laughs> Probably get to like here would be ideal. If we can. Where are the cavalry? Let's get you over here, boys. So we got the Peltas. They do have phalangists, so we've got to be wary of those. Decent units. Nice phalanx formation that they can do. We've got these mercenary hoplites as well. Let's get you in a slightly different formation. Over that way would be better. And you guys behind. And then as soon as our Cretans are in place, they should be able to start firing. Can you start firing or not? Let's make sure these guys... Who are we getting attacked by? Do they have archers? I'm sure they've got Greek archers or something. Yeah, they do. So we need to actually go forward. So let's get our... Get our boys forward. We can flank them pretty handily as well. So hard to see in these trees. Uh, and bring the cavalry. Bring you round. Right, let's go then, boys. Straight in. Let's go. Go. Don't wait for the jabbies. You guys get in there. You guys in. You guys, let's go. Let's go. I can't see what's going on at all. Get these guys in as well. You need to start firing your jabbies. And the general... I need to get in to see. Oh, God. General, let's go. Go, go, go. Need to have enough troops here to deal with the rest of them as well. Boys, come on, fire. Fire on there probably would be the best idea. Get the cavalry in up there. Ah, uh, the generals. We need you in to fight these boys. Ideally. Yes, nice. Let's go. Kill those Cretan archers. Come on, general. Let's go. I know you're getting a bit tired, but let's go. You guys get in there. Fighting my Skiritai. Oh, we shredded them. We absolutely shredded them. All right, cavalry, let's get you out. Go deal with those uh, Peltasts. You boys, let's get you in the back. Charge into the back. General, let's go in the back as well. You boys in there. Need to try and make sure not all these guys run away. How many have we killed now? Half. It's not that great, is it? Cavalry getting shredded. Let's go. Get out. Kill them. You guys go kill them. Have we broken everyone now? Oh, it looks like it. Greek archers over here. Cavalry. Get into the Greek archers. Oh, we should break if we kill them. Yes, broken. Nice. Who is not broken? That's what I want to know. I can't really see. This is the problem, you see? <laughs> you see? You see, this is the problem, you see? Makes a lot of sense, that sentence there. You need to kill them all. Right. Cavalry, where are you? Get there. And you can get... How many of you are? The three. You can get these guys. Where's the one that's not running away? I, I don't understand. Yeah, you're not going to catch them, are you? Who is not running? Oh, I wish it got rid of the trees when you press, press space bar. <laughs> Once you've dealt with these guys, deal with these. Where are you, my friend? Oh, yes. Nice. The cavalry is absolutely knackered. Great pursue, pursuing, though. Uh, right. Yep, now onto the Greek archers. 
Kill them. Let's go. And then what's down here? Oh, these guys. We'll go for these. Or let's go for them next. I don't know who who is not who is not routing. I don't understand. Ah, that's the edge of the map. Nice. Uh, I think we're just under fifteen percent. So let's end the battle. That should be a victory there and destroy the whole army. They killed one hundred and seventy-two. Like that's fair enough. Couldn't really see anything, honestly. <laughs> well done, guys. Good battle once again. I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. Victory. And it looks very much like that army is destroyed. I... That's a ship. Right. Well, uh, I think we go for Corinth. Looks like we've cleaned up a few of the Boeotian troops. But as we say, there is that big army over there. Of course, ladders. Shouldn't be a problem, though, this battle. I'm even considering um, auto-resolving that battle when we come to it. Because it's just a general. Captured flag. Fantastic. One influence and a troop morale for Arreus. Oh my god. He is absolutely unbelievably good. Gortina is now a minor city. Fantastic. Let's go for the shipwright while we have the money for it. Megalopolis got that. Megalopolis can upgrade as well. Fantastic. And who else needs to build? Oh, we're building everywhere. Wow. Wow. I'm extremely happy with that. Go for some healer archers or more cavalry. I don't think we need to, but we do need to get another ship. So let's get a trireme. What is your um, 462 a turn? That is a lot. <laughs> that is a lot, guys. Very much. <laughs> Getting irrigation in Athens. Nice. Chalkis, of course, you're building that. Just making sure we're building everything that's decent. Yes, we are. Fantastic. We should be swimming in trade very soon. Now, over here, Mr. Diplomat. Ah, hello, Egypt. Captain Otacion. Would you like an alliance? And I'll give you map information. We see no benefit to us. How about trade rights? A most generous yeah, production. now an alliance and map information. We see no benefit to us. Ah, oh, map for map. I mean, they're not going to give us map for map because... Would you consider... I mean, I would. Oh, thanks. Give an alliance now. We see no benefit to Right, us. well, uh... <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's reduced our reputation slightly, but... Oh, well. Now, let's go talk to the Seleucids. If we could trade with them, that would be awesome as well. We aren't actually... Ah, oh, we are now trading with Egypt. So, Rhodes should have a very fat amount of trade here. 1,522. Good Lord. That is seriously good. Well done, Rhodes. Well done. I'm very happy for you. How's Athens doing? 2,400 trade at Athens. And Sparta, 1,000. Wow. Everything is looking decent on the money front now. So that expansion early on has really, really um, helped our economy. And it did say that in the tips. So... Take that has the right thing to do. Just go and expand and eventually you will start making money. Uh, but let's end the turn here. Don't think we're on enough money to support two full stacks just yet. So we still got to be conservative with our troops. Um, but we're in a decent position now, aren't we? We're in a decent position. Right, let's uh, end the turn, guys. Oh, hello. What about here? Let's try get silver. Potential, 333. Hmm. I mean, if there was a gold, if there's gold up here, that would be ideal. Further away, the better, right? Uh, hides. It's all silver. No, I want gold. What about marble? Someone else is in there, I guess. Well, we'll take the silver up here anyway. It's 333 extra a turn. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Right, let's end the turn, guys, and see what happens. Oh, look at those trade routes. Expanding trade routes. We've got a few more ports now, so we've got even more trade routes coming through, which is brilliant. Rhodes actually just looks like it's trading with Egypt and not with actually the mainland, which is interesting. But, oh well, that doesn't really matter. We, they're still making a obscene amount of money from trade. And Athens, just one of its trade routes stopped? Or is that just going to Chalcis? We need to upgrade all our ports we, while we have this obscene amount of money. That would be ideal. 
So Carthage and the Aravachi are at, li- uh, are at war, and Aravachi and Massilia are now allies. And Massilia has these areas over here for some reason. So, you know, they should be going to war with Carthage as well, which is good for uh, Av- Avarachi. Right, Sparta. Shall we go for a market? Yep, it makes quite a big difference. Nice. And Argos got the ship right. Fantastic. And I think it's time for the mines. That will do a very decent there. Chalkis. Oh. There's not really much to build here, is there? What's this? Temple of Zeus? I'm, I'm willing to keep that. So let's go for the gar- Garrison 2. Nice. Ah, oh, we're doing so well now. So well. It's very nice indeed. Right, Corinth. Oh, hello. Let's break the siege and attack him because he's going to come out. He's got Theroporoi, some Cretan archers, and some Rhodian slingers. That should be relatively easy. I'm hoping it's not a horrendous battle map again, though, but I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. Fantastic, and we are in dusk again, so it looks beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Or oh, is it just dark because it's like a storm? Oh, it's been really rainy the last few battles. <laughs> Stop raining! There's a lot of these uh, units that are quite damaged. I'm not too bothered about them being in the center because I know they can hold the line relatively well. You guys at the back. Every time they revert to being running away, I don't like that. Stop. Reverting to that. And then generals. One's this side, one that side, as usual. And the cavalry. Ready to strike. So. Let us go. A lot better battle map this time than last time. We can actually see what's going on. Oh, they're up here. I knew it. Stupid AI will go on top of the hill. I'm slightly worried that they, they, their general will take a while to get in. So first things first, let us skirmish with them. Uh, where's our Cretan archers? Get you up here. General there. Arrayus and you up here. What archers do they have? Rhodian slingers. They're trash. You Zonai. Yeah, not uh, one Cretan arch. Two Cretan archers actually. I need to find where that general's coming from. It should be from the left, right? Do we go scout for it? I think we could. We could go scout for it. Let's go. Let's go down here. We should be able to see it if it's coming from the left down here. Because I just don't want these guys to withdraw before we get... Ah, there they... There it is. It's walking. So for now, I want him to come in because we need to kill him if we're going to take the city in one go. Oh, no, they're firing at us, actually. How are our Cretans doing? Our Cretans aren't firing. That's probably because of the uh, terrain disadvantage. Right, let's get back. And then the Cretans can come back as well. General. General. Cavalry. Let's go. Cavalry over here. Let's speed it up. Nice. Let's wait for that general to get in. He might even try and charge us straight away. That would be ideal. Uh, And then we could isolate him and kill him, but... Yep, here he comes. Let's go. Face him. Face him, boys. Face him. Get our cavalry out there. Let's 
Let's go. Need to surround him. Oh, our general's going to take a bit of a beating there, but as long as he doesn't die. Surround him fully, boys. Oh, he's, he's getting shredded here. And I'm going to keep my cavalry in, even though they're not great. But just because we need to surround him fully. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, boys. Yes, he's halfway down now. Keep in there, boys. Keep it up. Yes! That's their king as well. <laughs> the fools. Right. Units, let's go. Let's get you out. And the cavalry. Here. Right. Let's go, boys. You guys don't need to run. Time to go. They might withdraw now. But no, it looks like they are going forward. We need to make sure we kill as many of these as possible. Right, let's go. Yeah, in there. Nice, boys. Ready? Okay, Cretans. Not so fast. Right, let's go. A lot of them are Theroporoi, so we need to get into them as quick as we can. You boys in there. You boys around the flank. Let's go. You boys, let's go. And general, let's go. You guys in the back here. You boys into the Theroporoi in the middle. General, let's go. Let's get in there, my friends. If you guys could, like, get through here would be ideal. Let's go. Yeah, charge them. Let's get into that back of the Theroporoi. You guys can get in the front. Nice. It's fully surrounding them now. This cavalry. Let's go. How many times can I say let's go in one episode, boys? <laughs> it's the challenge of today. <laughs> Kill those slingers. You guys get into the back of these Cretans. God, you should have a really easy target here, boys. I don't know what you're doing. Fire. Yes, cavalry charge. Let's go. Oh, broke those Cretan archers out. Oh, this is looking pretty nice as battles go. Kill this Teroporite. They're so much worse without generals. It's it's actually ridiculous. They have no... That Teroporite has got a decent amount of experience as well. We've got to remember that. That charge was... Pretty trash. But then again, it is the Spartan Cavalry who are trash. Quick, get them before they run away. And you guys back. Come on, kill the... Ah, he's broken. Get up and round. Losing a lot of troops here, so we probably will have to retrain after we've taken Corinth. Get you guys up there. I don't want them to run away. You guys can chase them. This Porther Opera is fully surrounded now. And then down here, are we done with them? Yeah, nice. Yeah, keep firing, boys. Keep firing. Get these Cretan archers. They want to run up there and then run down this way. I don't understand. They should probably just go straight for the thing. Arrayas, rally. Get Arrayas out. There's no point in risking killing him now. Yeah, there we are, boys. You boys should come up this way, though, and surround them a bit more. Now, there we are. Let's go. Is there anyone else that we want to kill? 
Oh, they're getting shredded. Nice. I think we'll have killed nearly them all anyway now. Yeah, we just need to kill this Theroperite. Nice. Now you guys all get out so they can run. Yeah, there we are. Fantastic. They still killed 259. So even on the battles where you dominate, you do lose a lot of troops still. Spartan Cavalry doing well. Well done, boys. 60 for this Cryptia. Nice. Nice. And the Skiritai, 103. Well done, boys. That is very good. Fantastic. Fantastic battle once again. Glorious. Well, I'll see you on the campaign map. Here we are back on the campaign map, guys. And as you can see, their army is fully destroyed. And Corinth is ours. We even killed their king. The fool. And Corinth is a large city, right? We did enslave it last time. But we can get that enslavement bonus again. So why not? Why not? No, it's just a minor city. But, oh well, doesn't really matter too much. Another merchant. Oh, all the way over here. So you're already up over this way. Go for oh, gold up here. Let's go for that gold. Arias got Helots. Minus one influence, plus one farming output. Great men must have their followers. And this great man has a new member of his retinue. Fantastic. How are you doing? How much are you making? 334 a turn. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent, I've got to say. So, Corinth. Interesting. Conquered land occupation again. Let's uh, go for that. Uh, are we building everywhere else? I think we are. Yeah, fantastic. Mm, Aegeon is a bit unhappy. Yeah, it's because of the uh, population growth. but Because it's way over the large town limit. So, But it will be back to normal when this gets built next turn. Fantastic. Enables training of a diplomat. Right. Everyone that needs retraining, which is pretty much everyone, including the generals, will send them back because they can get a weapon bonus now. Let's retrain. Oh, we don't need to retrain you, Eudemidas. It's going to take two turns, but that isn't really a problem. I'm just worried that this unit will come and siege us down. But as I say, it takes them two turns to get going. So... That's not a problem. We're also worried about this army. Like, they could easily seize Chalkis and we can do nothing about it. But the Antigonids are blocking them with an absolute trash army. Like, what is that? You Zonoi and Greek Slingers. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> come on. That is not good. Uh, also, where have we lost troops in this army? Uh, so we left a Cretan archer there. So ideally... We want another archer, so let's go for that while we can as well. And let's uh, end the turn, boys. Is uh, the diplomat ready to go? Yeah, let's go talk to the big Seleucids. You're going to get blocked a lot on this road. It will be busy. Let's go up to the Seleucids. Right, and let's uh, end the turn. Fantastic. It's going well, isn't it? It's going pretty well. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. We're doing pretty decently. Thermon, I also believe, is a large city. So that will be... Once we've destroyed the Boeotians, I think that's probably the target we want to go for. The Aetolians do have a decent amount of troops, but... Oh, look at Epirus. Epirus has come down here. Oh. Hello, Epirus. <laughs> I hope you're not thinking about attacking me, bro. But they might be. They might be. <laughs> Right, let's retrain everyone else. They all just get a weapon upgrade, which makes their attack better. No armor upgrade quite yet, which is a bit of a shame. Um, and what do we want? So we've got all you boys, the three Javis, the two horsemen, and one healer archer. So let's go for another archer. We need a couple of archers. They're, they're not the best archers in the world. They've only got a 130 missile range, but... Uh, it's worth training them. And they didn't siege down anything, which is great. Thank you, Boeotians. Yes. Following factions now declare war on each other. Galatians, Ptolemates, Epirus, and the Antigonids. That's, that's why, why they've come down here. Um, hmm. The Boeotian League. Boeotian. Oh, in my last episode, I put them as B-O-E because that's what it says on the internet. <laughs> so, I probably need to change that. But, oh well. 
Yeah, it's it's with an I. <laughs> what a fool I have been! What a fool I have been! Right, another shipwright, please, to get that trade going even better. How are our trade routes looking? So Rhodes trading with these two and Gortina. Gortina's just trading over here, but it's going to have another trade route soon. Sparta between Athens and Gortina. Argos between Gortina and Athens uh, and Chalkis. Interesting. Megalopolis with Thermon and Aegeon, it looks like. And Aegeon just with Thermon. Corinth with Sparta and Thermon. So Thermon must be making a lot of money off us. Oh well. I think the Boeotians, I think we could take that, you know. It's a big army and it's too, yeah, it's a big army, but we shall use our superior tactics and nous, my friends. And nous. Um, well, while we're here, we need one more unit. So, Aegeon. Let us get some more Skiritai. I do like them. They're pretty decent troops. Make sure we're building everywhere. Yep, fantastic. Right, let's end the turn again, guys. Let's smash through a few of these turns. Inactive Merchant. Ah, yeah, forgot about you. And this Spy. Um, I mean, the Spy is fine. You can keep him. Get in there. He did get in there, so what we might do is attack the settlement if the gates open. If not, we'll attack this guy and draw everyone out. Oh, look at this. Tarantine cavalry, Aspidophoroi, Prodromoi. A lot of cavalry, but there's no general here. That is the big thing. They will break a lot easier than normal. A lot of phalangites as well. Yeah, phalangites are a little bit scary, but see, look, what are they on? 21 melee attack, 41 defense. Jesus. That, that is good. That is really good. Thing is with these guys, they're so experienced that they're putting our guys to shame, really, with their stats. Which is quite unfortunate. Um, but we have to go for it at this point. We should be strong enough. And if we're not, we'll just have to retrain the army and, and recruit some more troops. That's, that's how it goes, isn't it? Yep, Corinth doing well. Nice. Athens, fantastic. Chalkis, yes, my boys. We are expanding, my friends. Expanding. Seleucids. Oh, what is this? Who are you? Oh, the Seleucids are over here. Alliance? No. Go for trade rights. A most generous proposal. Alliance? We see no benefit to us. Uh, what about map information for an alliance? I mean, I know it's... We see no, benefit no to they're us. all too big to, to accept it. Oh, well. Let's go talk to some northern... Uh, some of the northern people. What about the Kingdom of Pergamon? I think we go for them. They, they could be a decent ally. I mean, Pergamon is a large city. Mytilene is a minor city. And Ephesus... They are, they're a pretty rich faction, so let's... Uh, End the turn again. Oh. Let's go for this. Oh, I'll go for the gold here. Well, the gold there is further away, so it should make more money. Oh, well. Let us end the turn. Ah, Greece. We're close to having... Well, we've got the bottom part of Greece. Anyway. We've got about half of Greece right now, which is pretty nice. Pretty decent. Including Rhodes and Crete, which is awesome. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully we'll uh, we'll have the whole of Greece at some point. Oh, Boeotians. Nice. <laughs> leaving that place open. Leaving your settlement open, my friends. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> Look at the Epirots, though. That is a scary army as well. We haven't actually fought any of the Epirots yet. They look pretty damaged, though. That's one thing that's good for us. Oh, my God. Look at this. Okay, the path blocked. Doesn't matter. Um, agent detected, Kingdom of Epros, where? Ah, why? So they are thinking of attacking us then. In Terra Incognita, there was a flash flood. Galatians and the Seleucids have uh, declared a ceasefire. Gortina got the uh, upgrade to the port. That is fantastic. Let's, uh, let's go for the Agora then, and let's see how much will that make. Yeah, more than it... Um, then the taxes it reduces by. Megalopolis got upgraded. So let's go for the port again. Rhodes. Hmm. What do we want at Rhodes? Uh, do we have corruption here? 
No corruption. Why is there still devastation? I, I, I don't know why there would be devastation. Let's go for the Temple of Zeus. It makes everything cheaper to build. And Corinth. Go for roads. There's, why do we not have roads here? That's silly. Right then. This army should be ready to go now. So let's get them out. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's get them here. We need to go kill that army, I believe. Would be the best option right now. Or we could attack them. Do you reckon they are in a draw-out battle? Oh, we got stuck. Well, we're going for the draw-out battle anyway. And it was a good option to go for. We probably should have gone with less troops. Hello, Epirus. Please don't attack us. <laughs> That's not what we need right now, bro. <laughs> oh... Yeah, that is definitely not what we need right now, bro. What mercenaries are available? Tarantine, Peltas, Phalangites. I could do with some Phalangites. That would be nice because they are very good. This is why they're so experienced because the mercenary ones already start with a decent amount of experience. Good lord. Oh, well, let's uh, end the turn again, boys. Uh, apart from we need to move you. Let's go speak to these boys over here. Nice. And I think that's everything else. As I say, we're going to chew through turns on this on this uh, mod. Because you have to, to get things done. You can't take everything extremely quickly like you can on vanilla. Um, so, yeah. If I play this again, which I probably will, I'm wondering what I, who I would play. I mean, I tried playing Bactria, as I said. <laughs> oh, the Boeotians have come to attack us. That's good. And we're probably backed up on a hill. He has uh, reinforcements. Hector. Hello, Hector. Are you from Troy? Um, and Demo Leon. Demo Leon, the demolition man. Got their own archer. I mean, they're coming to attack us. So the good thing is we can just sit up on top of a hill and defend... So we want to be back right corner looking at those armies. So I will see you on, on the battle map, guys. How many of us will Here we are. On this dawn will live to see the night. I tell you, the sons of Greece will see the dusk and will be triumphant. Yes, fantastic. Uh, but we're all sons of Greece, remember that. I mean, we could just sit... But, I mean, this is such a lovely location. But the trees. I can't deal with the trees, bro. This is a nice place anyway. So, I think we go for that. A nice line. Oh, look at that. That is glorious. You on the left flank. You on the right flank. Uh, oh, we got the need the Skiritai in here as well. They, can, they can't really flank us with their cavalry if we do this, which is great. They should be coming from that side there. It's going to be a bit annoying dealing with them coming down the hill. Uh, I mean... Uh, I, don't, uh, I just don't want to fight in the trees. <laughs> it's so annoying. You can't see anything. Healer archers... I mean, we're not really on a hill here, though. If we got a little bit thicker, we could be. I don't want a corner box, though. Well, I kind of am doing that already. <laughs> we get the archers this side. Cavalry, you can come here. I think that's everyone. So let's start the battle. And we can't actually see them right now. <laughs> Oh, well. Let's, uh, let's have a look around. We should be able to see them when they start moving up this way. There they are. Here they come, boys. Here they come. Thinking they're hard. But they have not fought the mighty Spartans yet. This is an important battle. This is a really important battle. Okay, he's bringing a lot of cavalry on the left-hand flank. Kind of scary. Let's get our cavalry over here to counter them, even though their cavalry is quite considerably better. 
Yeah, very, very much better. I mean, the Tarantino isn't great, but everyone else, the Podromoy and the Aspido Fordoy are a lot. Oh, no, the Tarantino's good. It's the, which one is it? Is it the Pro? No, the Prodromoy are trash, yeah, but the rest of them are, are pretty good. Come on, yeah, kill them. Don't put you on that. I don't know where the edge of the map is. Oh, it's just there. It's just there. It's just right next to us. Yeah, keep firing, boys. You are getting rid of some of them. They are sending their archers in front. Oh, no, they're sending the Pissiloy and the Peltas in front. That's all right. Where are they? Can't see them. Problem is, they fire jabbies, which... Never ideal to deal with. I feel like we can beat the Prodromoy, right? We should be able to beat the Prodromoy. And the Tarantine, honestly. But... On this difficulty... It's not a given... Wait, who's fighting? I don't see anyone fighting. No one's fighting on my map, either, on my uh, on down here either. Let's go. We should get them. We should catch them there. I'm hoping so. They've stopped. Catch them. Come on, boys. Catch them. There's two units. Ah, oh, there's the other units from the other army. Right, get back to safety. Oh, time to go. Oh, they attacked over here with some cavalry. Interesting. All right, let's go. We need to go forward now. This is the uh, point where we need to go forward. Get around, and we'll send. We'll keep our general here. I mean, it would be nice if he could catch them. Oh, Jesus! Did not see that. Some of these units are getting shredded, bro. Come on, boys! This is it. Can't really tell between everyone's units. That's the problem here. I think they're getting shredded because of the phalangists. They do have generals, don't they? No, don't go straight into the phalanges there. Get across. Right, you guys round. Well, you guys get into those hoplites. You guys round. You guys here. We need to hit them in the back. Oh, God, what is going on here? You guys get there. You guys get there. You guys get in there. You guys ideally in the back of here. Right, we need these boys forward. And what happened with the cavalry over here? Oh, we're destroying one of their cavalry units. Right, we need to kill that Greek cavalry. That's the general. And where's Arias? Where are you? You need to come and kill this Greek cavalry. Come on, fire at the phalangites. Come on. Oh, this is such a mess. Can't really see what's going on either. Bringing his hoplites. Yes, we should be we should be winning over here. Yes! Come on! Killed one of their generals. Is it this one? I'm hoping so. He's fighting to the death now. Surprises me. The enemy king flies from the fight. Now let us drag One of their other generals has run now. Oh, now he's dead. Oh, come on. This is the point. This is where we can win it. Come on. I think we're okay over here because of the amount of flanking that we're doing. Oh, we need, need to get into the back of these boys. Why are they fighting to the death? Stop. Let's get there. You guys get out. See if you can surround this area. 
Honestly, I need my cavalry down here now. Oh no, 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 no. Let's go. Get get around this way. Cavalry, let's go. Get into the back of these guys. Oh, they're all running. A lot of them are running. Let's get into the back of these phalangites. Phalangists. Kill the mercenary hoplites. Let's go. Are you guys done? I mean, ideally, we need to get you in. Now out, cavalry. We need you to pursue the enemy. Let's go. Oh, God. There's a lot of death. A lot of death and destruction on this battlefield right now. Kill them. You guys get round. You guys get over here. You guys can get over here as well. Who are you fighting? Boyushin Nanioski. Let's get forward. Uh, you can get into the Theroperoi. It just matters about flanking them, I think. Not necessarily that those units are, are trash. Get you guys up there now then. General. Oh, who are you? Cretan archers. Oh, my cavalry's died. They ran into the wrong units. <laughs> no, get out. Get them. You guys get round. Right, out now. Out, damn spot. Out. <laughs> so this is the big blob here. How are they doing? They're all eager. They're doing pretty well, aren't they? If we can break that Theroperoi, we'll be good. You guys get there. You guys, we need you around the back of these Boeotians. Where's Arias? Arias, my friend. Let's go. Into the back of these boys. Get that Theroperoi. Who are you? Yeah, you need to get into the Theroperoi as well. Round the back. Now in. Rally the boys. Rally them. Are you firing? You should be. Who are you firing at? Tarantine Cavalry. There's not many of them left, is there? Right. Round the back, boys. Oh, Operation Flank. <laughs> this is chaos. Just absolute chaos. They're shaken because they don't have a general anymore. Oh, what's happened over here? Into the phalangites, come on. These guys have held really well against these phalangites. They're fighting to the death. I don't want that. I just want to break them all and then we'll run away. Get in the back. Is that just you two? Oh. Get back into them. Come on. We lost all the rest of our cavalry. That's a shame. Get into them, boys. They're routing a lot, aren't they? How are you guys looking? Need them all to break. That's it. Get in the back. How many have we killed, anyway? 30%. You guys should be able to catch them up. You guys try as well. At one point they will lose all their ammo anyway. You guys get ready to get in here if, if needs be. Ah, one of the units has actually used all its missiles. How are you doing in pursuit? Okay, we are killing a lot. We have killed a lot. They also have killed a lot of us. More than half. Woo! Yes, kill them. I just want to make sure that we destroy these armies. I know you're tired, cavalry, but we need you. Then we need to come back and kill, like, these. 
Like the bigger units are where we really need to focus. So you get there and then we'll get after these. Then there's some of these, like 36 is too many. Kill them. Who are you? Oh, we didn't even get you in the battle. We forgot about you. <laughs> well, you were the reserve troops all along, weren't you? Okay, so they got phalanges there. The problem is they're just kind of doing like a bit of a skiller drum here. How are they all so eager? Oh, get into them. Okay, we're chasing this Cretian archers down here. You've done a decent job. Nice, killing them. Right, into the uh, Nianski. Nianskoi. Get them. We have poor units. Right, you guys back up round this way. Oh, these phalangites are just so brutally good. They are very good. Hardly even breaking right now. Yeah, just kill as many as you can, bro. Get those guys. Let's get after them. Let's keep going. There's only so far they can go into the corner. Let's get around this way. And then we can get into them. We are very much flanking them quite well. Come on, boys. Let's go. Okay, that unit's broken. Oh, well. You guys need to get around here now and then get into the back of them. Oh, what a brutal battle, boys. What a brutal battle. They're only on 16%, so we just need to break this guy and then kill as many as we can. And we should be good. Let's get there. Cavalry, where do we want to send you? Oh, those guys. You can, like, fight... Other people. Oh, yeah. You go after them as well. They've still got a long way to go. Ah, come on, you foolish Cretans. <laughs> this poor Peltast has been trying for so long. We have these Phalangites fully surrounded and they still refuse to break. Two of them are broken. I think once the third one goes, the fourth one's a given. But, oh well. Nice one, boys. Doing a good job. Oh, what a tight battle, eh? What a tight battle. Very good, though. And we've really destroyed this Boeotian army. But as you can see, our army's pretty destroyed as well. Come on, boys. They are wavering. Come on. We need a... I wish we had the option of a morale shock right now. But there is no morale shock that we can do. Cavalry went up to seven, uh, up to uh, fourth tier experience. Silver, nice. I mean, it should do. It's down. I'm surprised not more of these guys have had got more experience. Really, like, <laughs> what a brutal battle. Arreus has a good, good amount of experience. Look at those stats. Like, four, 52 defense, 23 melee attack. It's pretty nice. Oh, they zap them all now. Right, you guys get out. You guys get out as well. Let them escape. So then they can run. Because don't want to fight them to the death. Let them break. Now, now kill them. Now kill them. Let them rout. Hoping that's them, their whole army destroyed. <sighs> Deserves to be after that. Good lord. Good lord. What a battle. What a serious battle. And we came out victorious. Fantastic. Glorious. Glorious. Just these couple of units left. Kill them. 
Everyone kill them! Come on, cavalry, what are you doing? Ah, oh, they run away. What are you doing, cavalry? They're just there! You keep stopping. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, glorious! We killed, like, double, really? Healed. We did get a few heals, but... Wow. 170 for this crypt here. Well done. And they still have 54 soldiers remaining. 137, 109 for the general. 222 for the cavalry. Decent. Everyone did pretty well. 172 for this Paragoy Hoplitai. Nice. Oh, even the javelin men, 136. Good lord. What a glorious battle. Fantastic. I will see you back on the campaign map, boys. Here we are, boys. Oh, glorious victory. There is still a few troops in Orkomenos. Oh, wow. How much are you making now, bro? Five! Come on, bro. It's gold! I don't understand merchants, man. I really don't. I really don't. Oh. So if we go after him... Oh, come on! How can we not siege that down, bro? We could with the cavalry, right? But they won't because we're in that army. Oh, flipping hell, bro. How can you be more annoying? Ah, oh, I should have sieged this down first. Ah, Cleonimos. Cool. Are you in a gogi as well? No, you're a Europonid. Passionate. You're actually pretty decent. Whimsical nature, less influence, but I think... Ah, uh, you are in a gogi. You can't move. So while that's going on, we should probably get... Eudemidas into Megalopolis to manage that. If you would, my friend. There we are. Or Corinth or Athens. Oh, Athens already has someone managing it. Oh, well. Cool. Enemy army routes, of course. Fantastic. Bosporans and Galatians have declared that they're allies. Galatians and the Adrissians. Ceasefire between Rome and Carthage. Interesting. Interesting. Areus got a runner. Plus one command. Wow. He doesn't even need <laughs> more command. Ooh. Well, Sparta got the market. I think in Sparta we get the academy. Oh, we could get the armor, though. No, armor is more important right now. Corinth. Hmm. Let's go for crop rotation in Corinth for that extra money. Should have a decent amount of trade coming here now. Yes, we do. Fantastic. That's all the building that was done. Ah, cool. Well, we should hopefully have the uh, Boeotians dead uh, next episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching, as always. It's been a pleasure. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you again on the next video.